We're about to see some sweet new art. That's what we got going on in patch 0.0.27. It is I, 8-Bit Matt, and I'm excited to bring you another Duelist Patch Notes video. Like I said, we've got some pretty art in this one, guys. First up are those major changes. They've added the Songhai main menu background, and uh, they're hoping to add a background for each faction. So can't wait to see that Vitruvian and Venar background as well. Um, and might I say, this one looks pretty nice. Um, they've also added an experimental Vitruvian map for playtesting. Let them know what you think about it in the forums. Uh, I haven't got hands-on time with it myself. Um, still making this video. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below on that one. And then they've also made a tweak to transformation effects. So transformation effects should no longer count as summons. For example, if you own a Crimson Oculus and I cast an Onyx Bear Seal on my opponent, the Oculus, uh, a Crimson Oculus should not be, be buffed. Basically, it's, those transformations aren't, aren't going to reward your opponents, um, is, is what it sounds like to me. Um, yeah, good change. Uh, sounds like it may have been a, a bug before, but, or maybe not. Maybe that's how they intended it. But, yeah, I like that change. That's fine. Fine, with, fine by me. Um, yeah, on to some of these new cards. Just a few new cards this week. It's the, Overall, the, the, the mechanics are a little light, but uh, we've got three new um, sweet looking art for these cards um up first we have the ash um guy i'm not even gonna pronounce the rest of that because i'll butcher it but the ash minf something or other this is yeah we've got him he's a five cost he uh two attack three health he's a common so probably see him a lot his opening gamut summons two copies of this minion on random spaces on the battlefield uh he looks awesome and this sounds awesome Basically, you're getting a 6-9, sort of, uh, dis dispersed across the map um, for 5 cost. Yeah, I, I can't complain. This card seems really strong. Uh, it would go great in a deck that uh, has, you know, for Vitruvian, that has Portal Guardians. Uh, I mean, granted, you have other characters that can do it at cheaper costs, but again, just a little more viable. That 3 health seems pretty nice to me. Um, I might find this in a deck. Um, we'll see. It doesn't, it doesn't really, like, jump out at me yet. But, um, up next, we've got the, uh, Death Blighter. And, um, he is a, he's a sweet-looking dragon lizard. But he's a six cost, three attack, four health. And his opening gamut deal three damage to all nearby minions. Whew. That is, uh, that is, a uh, pretty awesome. So not just... Three damage to any nearby uh, minion, but enemy minions. Um, that is a really strong opening or attack. Uh, I, I personally won't see this used in my decks, but I can definitely see people building a deck um, and having maybe one or two of these as just one of those like late game viable things. Um, he is a little high in cost, um, so that that's gonna you know be tough for some people, but. If you're a, you've got maybe an Abyssinian deck or a Magmar deck where you can play him sooner at a cheaper cost, he, he'll be he'll see some play. Um, On to our last new card. It is the first sword of the. I, these names are killing me. Uh, Ar Arcarain. Yeah, you guys can make fun of me in the comments, and please do. Uh, he this is a she, I guess a she with that sweet ponytail there, or he could be either. But uh, this person, or knight, has a 6 mana cost, uh, 7 attack, 5 health, and your other minions gain 1 attack. This, this is a card I would put in a deck. Giving all our minions 1 attack, that is pretty strong. Got some really strong stats on its own. Um, they've been you know, starting to tease at that gauntlet. This will be a card you will see in the gauntlet. Just strong stats, nice buff to the rest of the team. Uh, the art looks awesome. That sword is outrageous. Uh, yeah, and I, I will probably have one of these in a few of my decks. Um, solid choice. And again, they're all common, so you'll, you'll see them. You'll be able to pick them up pretty easy, craft them easy. Uh, yeah, looking forward to see what people do with them. On to the card changes. 
very light on these as well this week, but uh, we've got two for the Magmar faction, and that is it. So up first, we've got the Kujata. I can get that one, barely. Um, cost change from a 3-2 two to a 2-2. Two two. That's it. Very simple. Uh, I think it's fine. I think it the three attack made him a little too... Uh, a, a, too aggressive, I guess, in, in the sense of like being a defensive aggressive. So, you know, when people attacked him, it, it guaranteed to kill whatever it was. Now with two, it may be a little harder. You know, again, it won't kill, you know, any of the new cards that we dropped. Granted, those are five costs and up. But, um, yeah, knocking you to two, two just makes sense because you're not really wanting this card to attack anyways. You're, the point of it is to be able to summon more units for less. Uh, the, uh, uh, yeah, so... It's fine. It won't affect it too much. Metamorphosis has been uh, changed from a 4 cost to a 5 cost. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a super strong card. I've got a few videos showing you its devastating power. Using this with um, a combination, I believe, of Plasma Storm that deal destroys any minion below th uh, with 3 or less attack. Uh, you can wipe out a... You can really flip the the tides of uh, battle granted it's upped in cost so it will take a you know it's more of one of those ace in the holes late minute last minute game type of things but uh it's it'll still be used for what it, it um it was designed for i think uh so yeah I, I mean it's fine it'll it'll still fit in the place it does they just made it to prevent it from being cast earlier on so that's it for all the card changes. Like I said, very light this week. On to the UI changes. The sticky targeting. This is when you move a unit and it's still selected. Uh, can uh, Is now disabled by default. And there's an option to enable it. So if you want to have that functionality, just go into the menu. Turn it back on. There's an improved collection search. So check it out. L let me know how, what you think about it. And, of course, go to the forums and let the developers know so they can keep enhancing this game. And they updated the card background images, so that's pretty sweet. Um, but, yeah, they look nice. Okay. Nothing, no, no complaints there. There's, Of course, they're always fixing the, those darn bugs. Who knows where they come from? But uh, we've got a few uh, fixes where the main menu was going blank. Audio engine taking up... Uh, way too much memory there was an issue with booster pack counts not updating or correctly showing when you buy and open the packs fixed and they fixed an issue where mulligan stage would produce broken action bar so all in all great uh, great to see those uh fixes being implemented uh all in all i uh, to me the standout winner is that sweet new song high main menu um, background but uh guys let me know what you think the winner of this patch is like what, what's the, the standout thing for you let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys next week